My love for choral music stems from being with others, singing in harmony, and making beautiful sounds. This is one of my choirs performing the song Sleep by Eric Whitaker. But imagine if you could sing in a choir virtually without ever seeing the other singers face to face. In 2009, a man named Scott Haynes had the idea to create a virtual choir using the same Eric Whitaker song you just heard my choir sing. Whitaker also had a similar idea, and in 2011 produced his own version of Sleep with over 2,000 video submissions from across the world. Whitaker's works have inspired many virtual performances. This one features Dan Wright singing all eight voice parts with 32 recordings. The whole idea of a virtual choir had to start somewhere, so let's take a look at Nick Patera, who was known for singing both the male and female voice parts in Darius duets. And now I'm in a whole new world, unbelievable In 2007, multi-tracking in amateur music videos was relatively unheard of. However, in 2008, videos featuring one-person duets started to spring up. Wherever we go next, it's like catching lightning, the chance is a fire. Sam Sui and Kurt Hugo Schneider's videos featured one-man performances where the ensemble kept getting bigger and bigger. Virtual singing allowed for various collaborations. While Sam and Nick were both performing virtual duets and choirs, they became friends and even performed together. These virtual choirs even started to get sponsored by corporations like Disney. Strings, winds, whirlbells. There you see her. Disney seemed to be a big inspiration to many virtual choir singers. Some like to poke fun of the conglomerate, like John Cozart, also known on YouTube as Paint. Why Disney tells all in thin lies. Here's what happened after all their dreams came. Others chose to honor Disney by mashing up their own covers with costumes and effects. This is Heather Traska, and she created all of her own arrangements by ear. She also dresses in costume and has YouTube videos on how to do the makeup you see on the screen. The virtual choir is an international phenomenon where people from all over the world can get together and sing. Here you see seven singers from different countries. Experimentation has brought both acoustic and mediated singing together for hybrid performances. Here you see live singers performing with 30 virtual singers via Skype. They're all performing in different countries all at the same time. The aesthetic of virtual choir is even elicited by professionals such as Miley Cyrus, Jimmy Fallon, and The Roots. The pop acapella group Pentatonix created a video with a virtual choir style as well.
There are those who have dedicated their careers to creating YouTube videos and ask their viewers to become sponsors. Patreon is one website where artists like Julie and Neil can ask people to pay for every video that is uploaded on a YouTube channel. That all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old-fashioned values on which we... I'd like to share with you a few virtual choirs that my students and I have created. Here is a video that was recorded by 27 of my friends and me. It's a great medley that features significant people from various times of my life coming together and singing as one. One day in class, I asked my students to take out their cell phones and record themselves singing a simple medley to help me create this point of view virtual round. If students have the resources and initiative, they and I are often surprised at what they can accomplish. The possibilities are endless. When it comes to creating your own virtual choir, you're only limited by your own pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. We'll begin, we'll begin, we'll begin now with a spin, traveling in a world of